there and welcome to Two Moms and a Camera. So it is, sorry, we are still drinking red wine because yeah. this is the only drink we're gonna drink now because of our hearts. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with my heart. Well, it's cold sometimes. She has a cold, cold sometimes. heart. <laughs> so this is our back to school special. Um, yeah. I've had a hard, hard summer, okay? I just like, two of my kids just went away to university and uh, my oldest son has come home to go back to school. Uh, college so it's been a bit stressful it's and nice. I know that a lot of kids regardless of your age back to school September there's a song isn't it there's a song of wake me up when September ends mm -hmm. that's kind of how I feel this year uh, just because it's just so much has happened I'm, I'm in limbo right now so we thought we'd talk a little bit about back to school stuff I don't know do you do you have a story or something you were gonna well, say well no to I, I basically because I do if you don't oh well continue right go along ahead. yes ahead. no I know. Yeah, no. You go ahead. Okay. So we, we didn't script this, obviously. <laughs> We're that good. I was talking to uh, my daughter, who is first year at university, and um, she'll probably kill me for sharing this, but I thought it's important. She was saying to me how she's the only person who doesn't know a friend already at her school. She That's found a hard. lot of the kids um, knew people from their high schools that went to the mm -hmm. same. Uh, college or university and she's the only one that doesn't have somebody and she's the only one that doesn't want to drink a lot of alcohol and get drunk and party she's the only one and I remember thinking you know it's true when you're a kid and you're in a situation you actually do think you're the only one yeah you're the only one that doesn't get the math you're the only one that doesn't want to participate in whatever in gym class or you're the only one who can't do whatever it is. And the interesting thing is that as an adult, we know that's not true. I know that my daughter is not the only one in the whole university that doesn't want to drink alcohol. I know that. She's just got to find But that in that moment, she doesn't know that. Right. And the problem is, is that the people that are in your face and out in the hallways and being loud and rambunctious are the ones that are drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the ones that are crying in their rooms right. are not out, out meeting there. people. And they're probably shyer right. than other people. They're harder sometimes to meet. So it's important to know, regardless of what situation you're in, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely not alone. You just have to locate that person that you can be with or call a parent call a friend it's so important to know that you you have backup and i always want my kids to know that regardless we want their health and their safety comes to first yeah. yeah and there's nothing that can happen there's no course or test that you can fail that will make me not love you mm -hmm. um and at any time you need us we're there for you yeah Unless it's after 10 p.m. <laughs> then she's sleeping because she gets up very I early. actually said this to them too. If it's after 10 o'clock, you call me if it's an emergency. No yeah. texting me after 10 p.m. If it's an emergency, you call me. If it's self-induced stupidity, like you have got out and drank a bit and you feel nauseous, don't call me. Because that's your fault. That's your fault. Deal with it. Right? You're an adult You're now. You're a grown-up. Yeah. No, I agree with you. And I think to kind of... Um, take that and even extend it even further. I think if you are at high school, uh, college, university, wherever you're, you are, please understand that there are kids who are feeling left out, that are not feeling included, that are feeling isolated, perhaps shy, perhaps not feeling like they have what it takes to move forward. They may be suffering from homesickness, they may be really scared, anxiety, yeah. anxiety issues. There's so many things. If you are surrounded by friends and you're feeling in a really good place, it is your responsibility to make sure that people around you feel included. Bring them in. You see someone sitting alone, go over and say hi. You know, would you yeah. like to come sit with us? We see you're alone. You know what? That will give you life skills that will make you so successful in life. You will learn so many things by, by doing that. And I don't care if it's not cool. Mm -hmm. And I don't care if people go, oh, don't ask her to come, or look at that loner, or look at that loser. You know what, people that behave that way are very insecure about themselves. And they need help. 
So if you have a friend in your group like that, you may actually want to help her mm -hmm. or send her for help because that's not cool. And you're not cool by having somebody treat other people like that or watch them treat other people like that. So I really think it's really important that more people, more students do this. And you know, I, I think about your daughter, I love her dearly, and she's such a cool, smart, incredible girl. So if she's able to be somebody's friend, that is amazing for that person because there's somebody there waiting to be part of a group that's going to really bring so much to a group of girls, guys, whatever. She doesn't see it at the moment. She doesn't see it at the moment, but at first year, first week, you can't see past the fear and the anxiety and the newness of the moment. But fast forward a couple years, mm -hmm. she's going to be walking through those hallways. Think about if you're in high school and you're in, in like finishing high school compared to your first year first of high year. school. Think about that person in first year. Like it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. You fast forward to grade 12, grade 13, whatever it is, wherever you are, you're graduating high school, you are the top of the class. You are, you are, you've done everything. You've seen everything. You've met everyone. You feel good. You're in a different place. You're not the same person that started out. Mm -hmm. So just know if you're having a new experience at school and you're feeling that way, it's going to end. And first year is always hard. And you got to put yourself out there. I know I was trying to tell her, doesn't matter if you don't have someone to go to lunch with, just go down to the cafeteria. You'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. And my oldest son said that the first morning he was in residence, he went down by himself to get breakfast. And the guy standing behind him in line uh, ended up being his best friend to this day. Wow. And my daughter today met a girl in the lineup at the bookstore, just started talking and they clicked and they had lunch together and it seems to be um, that they're that they could be good friends. We don't know, but still you gotta put yourself out there. You do. So be brave. Call your parents. Call your call parents. your parents even when things are good. Not Don't just, when just leave bad. it when it's yeah. bad. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> just call and say, hey, I had a great day. Or a text. Hi, I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing really well. Fun. Yeah. Everyone, moms need that. Try Dads to balance that. it, please. Yeah. I beg you, please. You will understand. <laughs> when you're I a beg parent, of you. When you're a parent, you will understand. Call your parents. <laughs> <laughs> call your parents. Cheers to you. Cheers. Have a great first year, third year, year. Yeah. final year. Just be safe and be smart. And be nice. Cheers. <laughs>